Hey guys, welcome back to another Hack Rank Challenge video. Today we're going to be doing the Hurdle Race in C Sharp. So the details of this challenge, this problem, is we have someone named Dan who's playing a video game in which he's jumping hurdles. These hurdles are not the same height necessarily, they have varying heights, and Dan can only jump up to a certain height. He can, however, take a magic potion which increases how high he can jump by one unit. The purpose, the objective of this challenge is to figure out how many potions we gotta take in order to be able to jump over everything. In other words, we have to find the tallest hurdle and find the difference between that and how high Dan can jump, which will be, which will give us the number of potions we have to drink. Taking a look at our constraints, we can see that N, the number of hurdles, and K, how high Dan can jump, are both between 1 and 100, as well as height uh, array, which is which contains the height of all of the hurdles in the game. So the sample input output, let's look at this real quick. First one is N, which is how many hurdles. Four is how high Dan can jump. These are all the hurdles heights. So finding the max, we can see that six is the biggest one here, which means that Dan, being able to only jump four, will need to take two magic potions order to clear this level for this game. Uh, another thing to note is that it's impossible or should be impossible to drink a negative amount of potions. So if Dan can jump higher than the tallest turtle, then we don't have to drink any. We should return zero instead of a negative number of hurdle. Okay, so first off, let me show you kind of like a basic way of, of, of doing this, or I guess like a from scratch kind of a solution. And then I'll show you how I would do it if I was, I don't know, at, at my job or something. So in order to find the max, we need a variable to hold uh, our max while we iterate over every item in height to determine that max. To start off, we can just say that max is equal to the first thing in height. So I'm just making a basic for loop here to go over every element in height. Akarank finally added some IntelliSense for C Sharp, so that's awesome. And so now our logic in here is we're just going to have to test to see if the thing at height is bigger than max, and if so, swap it. So if height at i is bigger than max, the max is now equal to that thing. One thing to note, however, is that if we start at zero, then max will, on the first iteration, compare to itself. That's not really that bad, but in order to save us one computation, I guess, let's just change this to one. They skip the first thing. And if height happens to only have one thing, then it will, the termination case will be met before anything that's done in the loop. So after that, we're gonna return um, max minus how high Dan can jump, which is K. In order to make sure that this value isn't negative, let's just return a maximum of zero and that number. So if this is greater than zero, it'll return that. And if this is a negative number, then it'll say a zero, meaning we don't have to drink any All right, let's go ahead and run this, make sure it's working, and then I'll show you, it looks like we're passing. Let me show you now a little bit slicker of a solution, and that would be uh, utilizing our system link. Link, if you don't know or if you don't remember from other my other videos, is basically like extension library for ienumerables, which includes arrays like our height. This link library gives us access to the max function, so we can basically just re replace this chunk right here with that one built-in function call. So let's just return, we still gotta have the math max between zero and we'll say height mat dot max minus a. There is our one-liner solution. 
then test against all test cases. Cool. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching.